Hey all, Ron here from Military Images Magazine with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. Today, I want to talk about this cavalry officer, Wilbur Gorton Bentley. Wilbur had strong feelings about why the Civil War was fought and how victory influenced the world. Bentley knew firsthand of his subject, former major of the 9th New York Cavalry, he participated in more than 100 engagements, including the June 21st, 1864 skirmish in Virginia at White House during the Overland Campaign, during which he suffered a severe wound that ended with the amputation of his left leg. In a letter published in the Buffalo Times in February 1919, about two years before he died, Bentley wrote this. It is a wonderful age in which we have lived. In the 18th century, the men who had come to this new world seeking civil and religious liberty, the pilgrims, cavaliers, Huguenots, and Dutch, expressing the best thought of their day, gave to the country the Declaration of Independence. This is the greatest Magna Carta of the world, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. In the 19th century, a coterie of treasonable men for over 30 years are planning to destroy this government so that they could establish a slave empire, and thus was hatched the Rebellion of 1861. Then came the testing time of democracy. If this nation had not been preserved, it would have been a staggering, if not death blow, to government by the people. Monarchical governments had always contended that democratic governments had no cohesion and said that as soon as they were put to any strain, they would fall to pieces. Gladstone, it's Prime Minister Gladstone of England, urged England to force our blockade if possible and said if the United States proves able to subdue and hold the rebelling states in the Union, the whole world will become democratic. The world owes a debt of gratitude to the loyal citizens of all classes who gave their money as no nation has ever done before or since, and to that grand Union army that preserved this great republic. In this 20th century, this nation is again called upon to resist imperialism and defend democracy. We fostered it in the 17th century, we defended, preserved, and matured it in the 18th century, and now in the 20th century, we will help give it to the world. The crowns of kings, czars, and emperors will soon be in the junk shops, and the world shall have peace. Bentley added a final note. Today, and recall, he's writing in 1919, Today, we rejoice in what freedom and liberty has wrought already and the prophecy of what is yet sure to be accomplished. We revere the memory of our comrades who died on the battlefields and those who have passed into the beyond since. The immortal Lincoln is there with them. I am thrilled with emotion when I recall the share we had in the march of freedom, and we must be, as I have no doubt we are, profoundly grateful that we have been spared to live in this age when imperialism is tottering to its death and the heavens are aglow with the blazing light of liberty and freedom. The stars and stripes, old glory, is more beautiful than ever. So there you have it, a history lesson from a Civil War veteran. His name again is William Gorton Bentley. He was an officer in the 9th New York Cavalry. So take care. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you on the next episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail.